Silent Hill. Thank you so much for joining me once again here today. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Uh, we're just jumping right back into where we left off in the first part. Uh, I took a short respite, took a breather, because uh, this game was actually getting to me a little bit. And uh, we're going to jump back in, so you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's give this another shot. Gotta run from, uh, oh gosh, we're back in Silent Hill land. Okay, so she is coming from down that hallway. Gotta come down this way. Find what? 
find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find oh, what it. What the fuck am I supposed to find? That's a good question. I'm gonna turn my volume up just a little bit. It's not loud enough for me. It's not letting me examine that either. Sweet futon, bro. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Amelie. The girl chasing me is an anomaly. Now let me read this. January 31st, I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because Mom and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Back in this room again. Pregnancy test positive. Oh, snap. So oh, there's babies everywhere. We looked at this already. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Only. Oh shit. There was more to the sketchbook that time than the first time we looked at it. Hmm? What's that? Oh. You like what you see? Come closer then. No. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Oh, was that me? Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just friends with this Maya girl. She was my sister. Ever cared about Amelie. Oh, I guess that was Amelie then. Not me. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. I guess I might have been the other person in that cutscene then. I don't know. This is all very confusing and terrifying. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm assuming I have to leave the room now. Is that a tongue sticking out? Or is that guy just walking around with a hot dog in his mouth? I don't know. Dog life. The library. Zilla. I'm back at school. The library. Oh god. Another scene. Holy shit, this cutscene is very dark and creepy. There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. Well, thanks for returning it, I suppose. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Where was it? That 
fuck. Cadence Man, the town cursed by a witch, malicious and magic to blame for city slump. Cadence Dad continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere uh, 0.7, less than half of the German nation average. 1.6 miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average of 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kevinstead. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believed she was hunted down and killed before her death. She is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. So, it is a curse. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? That was my phone. I uh, find it. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? I don't know. Uh, the witch hunt of Kettenstadt in 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt, attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories, the Witch of the Far East. It was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital, and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that the witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence of the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. The witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? I don't know, my dude. See if it's giving me anything else to examine back here. Sapiens, the history of mankind. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. Doctor, doctor, doctor. That's 
That's not true. It's very not true. This place got super creepy again all of a sudden. All right, we're back to lockers. Where was my locker? Hell, I don't remember where my locker was. We're just gonna have to... Oh, there's the one that's already open. Oh, we can examine this now. What? Liar. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before, either. Oh, shit. What do we do now? I was totally banking on the, uh, locker theory. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Oh, crap. I don't... I don't know what the damn code is. Are we gonna have to find the code? Amelie's locker. Yes. It's just a novel. Wait a sec. Ugh. What the hell was Wait. that? Wait. Wait, what? I don't know what I was supposed to get out of that. see any numbers. Oh, two. There's a two. One. Two. I need, I need what? Four digits, right? Zero. Where was that fourth number at? Two. One zero three two. One zero three two. One zero three two. One zero three two. One zero three. It won't open. Zero, one, two. Three, zero, one, two. Let me get a pen and a piece of paper. I'm going to write these numbers down and so I don't keep doing the same code over and over again. When I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Inside. Zero three one two. And I can't look away. Zero three one two was the code. Here it is. Figured it out. What's this letter? 
Was it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People, people who can't achieve beauty, seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different, hate them, try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. Maya. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... to me. Anita, what did you do? <laughs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> Jeez. Well, that is a bit sad to know that had a hand in Maya's downfall. Now how the hell do I get out of here? That's a big ass double bag. It's all your fault. I'm assuming that's none of these side doors are gonna go anywhere. It's all your fault. And now she's wanting me to find it, whatever it is. Oh no. Oh no. Please no. Not this again. Oh god. The pictures are hanging up now. All oh, the pictures are up everywhere. So bitch. Where, where are you? Going this way. Starting to get the 
jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Oh, wait, wait, Anita. You... Oh, no. Are you gonna jump again? Oh, she's gonna jump, isn't she? Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> Is this really the end this time? Or are we gonna wake up again? Why won't you 
say anything. Jesus. Oh. Alright guys, I don't know how much longer this game's gonna go, so I might go ahead and uh, end this one right here. And we'll go ahead and do a third part. Um, according to the internet, it only says it's about a two hour game, so I'm thinking this might be the last time we have to go through this cycle. So we'll go ahead and leave that second cycle that I just finished up as an episode. And we'll jump into this third cycle of the third episode. And hopefully that'll be into the, the end of this. So, so thank you guys so much for joining me once again. Let me know your thoughts. This is super crazy so far, but I'm super into it. This is right up my alley for horror games and, and whatnot. This is the atmosphere, the tension, everything is super real in this so far. So you guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you're taking the content, make sure to like and subscribe as well. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I'll get you right back here for the next one. Maybe the last one very, very soon. Uh, later, Gators. Bye.